at UCLA with the support from the National Science Foundation, we educate students to solve societal problems at the nexus of food, energy, and water systems in urban settings. We want their story to be told to inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers to join their efforts. For me, STEM is a great way to solve problems um, that face our world, and it's something that really interests me. So I decided to pursue a STEM education based off that. It's also a way that I can work with my hands, work in the lab, which is also really fascinating for me. I was inspired to study material science because I was interested in chemistry growing up, and also because I was born in Cameroon, which um, inspired me to think about sustainable development and energy and environmental issues through that lens. I saw a lot of inefficiencies in the processes that we see today. Uh, for example, taking a linear economy chain, I thought that there's better ways to be able to find solutions to these problems that we're facing. Al Gore's movie inspired me to pursue STEM education because I thought I wanted to do something about climate change. Growing up, my mom was a chemical engineer, and so she always pushed me to take different science classes and join different science programs. And with that, you learn so much about atoms and elements and what makes up an object. And that really got me to be very curious about what makes up our world. In the future, I hope to become an environmental engineering professor and researcher and inspire others to not only pursue a more sustainable lifestyle, but continue figuring out ways to sustainably solve problems in our society and help make this a better world for everyone. Our students are motivated by working on issues that are relevant to the communities they come from or that they live in. They enjoy working on projects and their state-of-the-art facilities and equipment to learn from one another and from world-class scholars from different disciplines. I've always had a huge passion for science ever since I was a little kid. Uh, however, one of the problems that I face is that I never felt that I could do it myself and be successful at it. And I think one of the reasons for that is because of the lack of female role models in the field. So one of the things that helped me overcome that were really the mentors that I was surrounded with that pushed me and believed in me, and ultimately me believing in myself that I could do it, which has now led me to really living one of my dream jobs. One of the biggest challenges for me was really dealing with imposter syndrome, constantly a feeling of if I should be here, am I smart enough to be here? And with time, and especially when I finally got to graduate school, was when I realized like, yes, you do deserve to be here. I persevered, I tried hard, and I am where I belong in grad school. So I'm the first in my family to go to college and pursue higher education and this empowers me to take everything that I've learned and share this experience with my parents and my family members who may not have had the chance to experience something similar. I became interested in sustainability because it seemed like a good cross-section between pursuing the research process and having a proper and actual impact on the world that we're living in today. I first became interested in sustainability in high school, uh, learning about um, environmental problems and climate change, and then later on connecting that to my family's problems across the world facing the brunt of climate change and thinking about how I could contribute to solving those problems. The most influential element in my career were the faculty. They taught me how to apply my skills effectively to make real world solutions. Instead of just thinking of what I can bring to the table, I think of how I can communicate what I can bring to the table and combine that with what other people can bring to the table so that we have a more complete solution. Community outreach has really helped me to keep things in perspective of what's relevant in today's world. And from there, I can tune my project to make things more feasible, to improve the potential for its success out in the environment. To aspiring scientists who are applying to college soon, I would encourage you all to keep an open mind because you never really know what you might fall in love with. I started out with one passion that I thought I would spend the rest of my life doing, but then I found a different one that honestly felt like my true calling. And even though it was a, bit, a little bit later that I found that passion, I'm super grateful to have found it, and I'm excited to spend the rest of my life doing it. Take every opportunity you can to learn something new. Really think of your work through an interdisciplinary lens. Make the most out of your time learn new skills. I know that it can seem like a really difficult process, but if you are inspired and if you want to make an impact, then you will be able to make an impact. We invite all of you to join our students 
and to contribute your talent, your creativity, and your enthusiasm in solving the world's most pressing problems.